So two things we have to get doing this video is to import this custom CSS to this uh, index.html so that whatever code we write there will reflect. So we we'll go up where we imported other CSS. So make sure that it's at the bottom. Your custom CSS file has to be at the bottom. So we will do link rel style sheet. Everybody knows it's a style sheet. Then href. This is where we have to link to this. The href will be CSS CSS custom custom style dot CSS. All right, we're good, and uh, that's it. Basically, I think this sorts it out. So we've imported it now. Now the next thing we have to do is to give it, give this, we need to make it the background of this Jumbotron. So give this Jumbotron a name, we can do, do it, give it big banner. This is a class, so I'm going to copy this, then we're going to write a code for it. So we'll go to the custom CSS, we'll do dot big banner. So in CSS, normal CSS, dot means class. So this is making reference to that class. We can now write a code for the background, alright? can do background dash image then we can do URL we'll put the image the, the um the path to the image here so we are going to do um images images and our background of jpg So if everything works out well, then our Jumbotron would have a, a background image. So where is it? So that's it guys, we have a very beautiful background image. But we want to make sure about something. Uh, we want to make sure that the image is always um, stretched. And um, we now have a challenge with our text. See, our texts are no longer visible. So we need to make them white. We have to go back to typography and work on typography. We need to work on font color like that. Um, is that where it is? I can't remember, not sure here. We can do color. Background color, no colors. Color, I think colors show yes, text primary, text secondary. So, text light, I think text light should work. Or text white, I think text white is a good. Okay. Let's start with text light. So, if we come back here and do text light just to make all the text look at it here, let's do class inside the class, we'll do text text light and uh, we refresh makes sense yeah Eureka. so um i think here we should do what do you want to learn so we should change this to what do you want to learn so here um instead of search for courses so what do you want to learn what do you want to learn? What do you want to learn? So we refresh. Yep. I want to learn Twitter Bootstrap. So the background image, as you can see, um, even though we just got a well sized background image, that is why uh, we are not noticing any defects. Uh, by default, background image will repeat itself. As you can see, see this one? This image started from here and stopped here. If you can see, this phone is cut off. Then it started repeating itself all over again. We don't want this repeat. We want it to stretch. Alright, so we're going to do um, go to our custom style. This is basic CSS. We're going to do um, stretch background. Think is background size will do 100 percent 
so background size 100 percent will stretch stretch it reload you see it's stretched now so this makes sense for us so we're seeing one image and it works perfectly well see you guys in the next video where we proceed to the bottom of the page where we'll add all these tiny little things here we'll add these three guys here and then proceed down 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 all right see you guys thank you very much